You can't just walk in here. This is the hidden back base. How do I know you're not a Volker spy set to kill Gadon Thek? A lot of people want to go inside and speak to Gadon. He's a hero of the common folk. But the days of the hidden back's open door policy are gone. Between the Sith conquest and the Volker gang war, Gadon has more enemies than he used to. We're being careful about who we let in now. Well. We do need all the help we can get. And you don't look like you're with the Vulcans or the Sith. Besides, it's not like you can do anything to harm Gadden in the heart of his own base. Not with Zedra watching his back. Go in and speak to Gadden if you want. Just remember to be on your best behavior. The Hidden Becks are watching you. Hold it right there. Who are you? And what is your business with Gadden? Calm down, Zerdra. Nobody's going to try anything here in the middle of our own base. It would be a suicide mission. You're too trusting, Gadden. Breshek and his Valkyrs want you dead. Anyone we don't know is a potential threat, and it's my job to make sure you're safe. Do you want us to start attacking strangers on sight, Zerdra? Like the Valkyrs do? I will never let it come to that. Now step aside and let them pass. As you wish. You can speak to Gadden if you want, but I've got my eye on you. You try anything and you'll be vaporized before you can say Volker Spy. You can speak to Gadden if you want. You'll have to forgive Zerdra. Ever since Brejic and the Volkers began this war against us, she's been a little overzealous in her security duties. The problems with the Sith haven't helped things. Zerdra seems to forget that I know how to look after myself. Now, how can I help you? The escape pods? You know, I heard the Sith have been asking around the upper city about them as well. But you don't look like you're with the Sith. They might be spies, Gadden. They might be working for the Sith. Calm down, Zerdra. If the Sith thought we knew anything useful, they'd have a battalion of troops kicking down our door. No, I think this offworlder has her own agenda. I suppose I could tell you what I know. It's not like it could do any harm to me or my gang. But it might cause problems for the Vulcas, and that's okay in my book. The Vulcas stripped those pods clean within hours after they landed. It's too bad we didn't get there first, considering what my spies reported the Vulcas found. A female Republic officer named Bastila survived the crash. We Becks don't believe in intergalactic slavery, but the Vulcas aren't so picky. They took a prisoner. Normally, the Vulcas would take a captured slave and sell them for a nice profit to Davik, or an off-world slaver. But a Republic officer is no ordinary catch. I still think Bastila is just a Republic officer. That could work to our advantage. Maybe she'll even figure out a way to escape from the Vulcan base on her own. She's too valuable to leave with the Vulcan scum at the base. 
Brezhik's probably got your Republic friend hidden away somewhere safe until the big swoop race. You'll never find her. I'm afraid your friend has become a pawn in Brezhik's game to take over the lower city. He's offered her up as the Volker's share of the prize in the annual Swoop Gang race. By putting up such a valuable prize, Brezhik hopes to win the loyalty of some of the smaller gangs. Their numbers will allow him to finally destroy me and my followers. So how do you propose we go about rescuing Bastila then? Well, we can't fight all the gangs. The only hope you have of rescuing Bastila is to somehow win the big season opener of the Swoop Race. I might be able to help you with this, if you'd be willing to help us. We both have something to gain here, and much to lose. The swoop race is for the lower city gangs only. I could sponsor you as a rider for the Hiddenbecks this year. If you win the race, you'll win your friend's freedom. But first, you have to do something for me. My mechanics have developed an accelerator for a swoop engine. A bike with the accelerator installed can beat any other swoop out there. But the Vulkers stole the prototype from us. They plan to use it to guarantee a victory in this year's swoop race. I need you to break into their base and steal it back. Getting into the Vulker base won't be easy. The front doors are locked tight. But I know someone who might be able to get you in the back way. Mission Vale. Mission? Gaddon, you can't be serious. She's just a kid. How is she supposed to help them with this? Mission's explored every step of every back alley in the lower city. Plus, she knows the undercity sewers better than anyone. If anyone can get inside the Vulcan base, it's her. She and her Wookiee friend Zalbar are always looking to stir up a little excitement. They like to go exploring in the undercity, despite the dangers. Your best bet is to look for her in the undercity. But you'll need some way past the Sith guard post at the elevator. A simple disguise might have worked on the upper city guard, but the security down here is much tougher. You'll need the proper papers to get past him. Luckily, my gang ambushed one of the Sith patrols headed down to the Undercity. They never made it, and their security papers fell into my hands. Since we're working together now, I suppose I could give them to you in exchange for your uniforms. With the security papers, you won't need a disguise anyway. I like to be prepared. Eventually, the Sith are going... Good choice. Thanks for the uniforms. You won't need them with these security papers anyway. Now, is there anything else I can do for you? Your time would probably be better... I'm very tactful. Are you itching for a fight or something? How dare you? I should kill you where you stand. Calm down, Zerdra. I'm not ashamed of what I've become. As you can see, I lost my eyes in a swoop racing crash. I rely on these artificial replacements to see now. But my blindness was not the worst consequence of my accident. My affliction was what eventually led to this war between my Bex and the Vulkers. When I lost my sight in the swoop bike accident, everyone assumed I would step down as leader of the Hidden Bex and let Brezhik, my most trusted follower, take over. But with my ocular implants, I can still see well enough to lead this gang. And I knew Brezhik wasn't ready to take over yet. Unfortunately, Brezhik didn't agree with me. In a rage, he left to join our arch-rivals, the Black Vulkers. A lot of the younger gang members followed him, and soon he and his followers had taken control of the Vulker gang. Feel free to come back anytime. We're not like those Vulcan savages. Strangers are welcome in the Beck base.
Once you've got the proper security papers, you better just turn around and go back the way you came. Let me see. Uh, yeah, these look to be in order. Okay, you can go down if you want. Can't say I envy you, though. The Undercity is crawling with mutants. Rack goals, they call them. If you see anything moving down there, shoot first and ask questions later. You there, Upworlder! Anyone using this elevator has to pay the toll. Yeah, this is our elevator. If you use it, you gotta give us something. I don't believe this planet. Even the beggars are trying to shake us down. Five credits! That's what it costs to use our elevator. Five credits! We're not fools. We know all who come from the Upworld are rich. Please. Is five credits too much to ask? Please have pity on us. We have nothing. All we ask is a few credits to make our lives easier. <laughs> credits, my brother! We have credits. Now we can buy food and medicine. Hush, or the others will hear us. They'll want our credits. We have to hide them. Go on, you two. Get out of here. <sighs> I'm sorry about that. Those two beggars give everyone in the village a bad name. We aren't all like that, you know. Most of us are good people. I'm sure you are, miss. It's just too bad your little welcoming committee is here to give people a bad first impression. My name is Shalina. You're from the Upworld, aren't you? I've... I've never seen it. I was born here in the Undercity. Is it as nice as they say up there? I've never been to the surface, but sometimes I think I can see it in my dreams. The sun, the sky, the stars. It all sounds so... so... so wonderful. Gendar, the leader of our village, tells me I should spend more time trying to improve things down here and less time dreaming about something I can never have. Maybe he's right. You probably think I'm a fool, having dreams of a place I've never even seen. But when I was little, Rukil used to tell me stories of what it was like up there. Rukil is the oldest man in the village. The kids call him Rukil Wrinkleskin, but he's a kind man. He used to tell me the greatest stories when I was a little girl. I still like to listen to his tales about the Promised Land, even though I know they're just legends, but it helps to make the Undercity seem less... Less dark somehow. It's it's just a story to make little children smile. Rukil believes in it though. Sometimes I can almost believe it myself, but then I look around and see the ugly truth. I guess we have to make the best of what we have though. If you really want to learn more about the promised land, you should speak to Rukil. He's wandering around somewhere on the south side of the village. He doesn't move too far. He's hard on his bones. He's over 100 years old. The children laugh at him, and people think he's crazy because of his stories about the Promised Land, but he's really just a kind old man. Oh, okay. Well, if you ever need anything, or if you just feel like talking, come back and see me. I hardly ever get a chance to speak to someone from the Upworld. Wait, Upworlder. You can't go through this gate. There is too much danger and suffering beyond. For your own sake, turn back. I am Isala, healer of this village. I use my knowledge and what little resources we have to care for the outcasts who are sick or injured. But despite my medical training, there is nothing I can do to help the poor souls locked on the other side of this gate. Back again? Is this... Farewell. Please, help us. We're infected with the rat ghoul disease. At any moment we could... Uh, no! This cannot... No! Oh, 
the rat ghoul disease it is it is too late for them soon please hurry up don't forget about us upworlder what back again is there some Greetings, Upworlder. We rarely see your kind here in the city. I find it strange that so many of you have come down from the surface recently. No offense, but I can see why people normally avoid this place. Why have you come into this dark and sunless place? Is there something you need of me or my village? I will help you however I can. Our village has seen many visitors from the surface recently. Armored troops, swoop gang members, mercenaries. They come to search our sunless world. They're even searching the sewers. Yes, I have seen this Twi'lek many times, though I've never spoken to her. She and her Wookiee companion often pass through our village on their way to explore the sewers. There are two entrances into the sewers from the Undercity. One to the northeast of our village, the other to the southeast. But the sewers are dangerous, Upworlder. If you dare to travel those dark tunnels, you would be wise to go heavily armed, unless you wish to become a meal for the rock ghouls and the other foul creatures. As you wish, Upworlder. Should you have need of anything else, come speak to me. I represent the entire village, and I will do my best to help you however I can. You... You come from the world above. Is this the time of destiny, then? Is this a portent of the salvation of my people? Or merely another false sign to mislead us from the path? Are you the herald of prophecy? The beacon to guide us through the darkness? Or are you merely another harbinger of shattered dreams and unfulfilled promises? Be careful. This one might be crazy enough to be dangerous. Speak to me, Upworlder. Tell me what fate you unleash upon us. Salvation or damnation? Speak, Upworlder, I beg you! A question. You are uncertain, bewildered, perplexed. Understandable, I suppose. Even after a hundred years of life, I myself still become confused at times. Perhaps I can make things more clear. Some things, at least. My name is Rukil, the oldest outcast here in the village. Rukil Wrinkleskin, the children call me sometimes. Once, I was honored for my wisdom. But over time, the villagers fell away from the true path. Eventually, there was only a single apprentice who followed me. And now she is gone, too. My apprentice is lost. I sent her out into the Undercity to find, well, 
I cannot tell you. Not yet. Sadly. Please, Upwhirler. Will you help an old man? Will you seek out my apprentice in the... Finding her may be difficult. Malia could be anywhere in the Undercity. But if you will find her, I will know you to be our true savior. Only then can I reveal my secret knowledge to you. I wish you luck, Upworlder. Come speak to me again once you have discovered the fate of my apprentice. from the village. You're from the upworld, ain't you? Yes, you've got credits, I bet. Watch yourself. There's something slimy about this guy. I wouldn't trust him as far as I could throw him. My name's Saigir. I run a little salvage shop here. You want to buy something from my store? I got some good deals. best stuff. Mostly salvage and such, but the price is right. Hurry! I can hear it coming! He'll never make it. He's doomed. <sighs> I told him he was a fool to leave the village. He will make it. Run, Hindar, run! Open the gate! Quickly! There isn't much time! Uh, I... I can't. The Rackles are too close. The mutants will kill him if you don't open the gate! And if I open the gate, they'll kill us all! No! You can't do this! It isn't fair! Please, make him open the gate. Hindar will die if he doesn't. I can't open the gate. Not while the rat ghouls are so near. You'd risk your life for a stranger? <laughs> You're brave, Upworlder. I'll open the gate for you, but you gotta be quick. In a few seconds, I must close and lock it again. I can't thank you enough for saving me, Upworlder. If I had anything but these rags on my back, it would be yours. But we have nothing. I still have you, Hindar. That's all I need. Let's go back to the village.
Please, you have to help me. Nobody else is gonna help me. Even the Bex won't help me. But I can't just leave him there. He's my friend. You'll help me, won't you? It's Zalbar. He's in trouble. Big trouble. We have to help him. If we don't, they'll sell him into slavery. Me, me and Zalbar, we were just wandering around here in the Undercity. You know, looking for stuff we could find, just kind of exploring. We do it all the time. I guess with a Wookiee at your side, you've got to figure you can handle the odd Rack Ghoul attack. Only this time, they were waiting for us. Gamorian slave hunters. We didn't even have a chance to run. Big Z threw himself at him and then roared for me to run. I, I took off. I figured Zalbar would be right behind me. But there were too many of them. He couldn't get away. They're going to sell him to a slaver, I just know it. I don't know for sure, but those Gamorians like to hang out in the sewers. The stink reminds them of home, I guess. That's probably where they took Big Z. It's a deal. As soon as we get Big Z back, I'll show you a way into that Volker base. Now come on! We have to find Zalba before they sell him to slavers, or worse! Do you know where he's being kept? The Gamorians make their camps in the sewers. I bet that's where we'll find Zalbar. And that's where I'll show you the secret entrance into the Volker compound. Ready. What? Uh -huh. What? What? Help. Help me. 
Please. I, I can feel it inside my skin. Something growing. Like some kind of hideous disease. No! No! I can feel it! Don't move! I'm... I'm not afraid to use this blaster if I have to. Settle down, kid. We've already lost enough men to those damn rat ghouls. The last thing we need now is more casualties from a needless firefight. Mm. By the looks of you, I'd say you're down here for the same reason we are. To salvage something from those downed Republic space pods. Let me give you some advice. Forget about it. Do yourself a favor and just head back from where you came. This isn't a good place to stand around chatting. The Undercity is crawling with rat ghouls. I've already lost a half a dozen men to those monsters. Candrus, I heard something. Over there, in the shadows. Sounded like a rat ghoul. Looks like we've got company. Get those blasters ready, boys. Damn. I told Davik this salvage mission was a bad idea. His men aren't trained for this kind of thing, and I can't babysit them all. Okay, boys. We're getting out of here before I lose anyone else. I can't carry all this salvage back by myself. You'd be smart to get out of here as well. Even if you can handle the rat ghouls, I doubt there's anything worth finding anymore. Davik sent me down here with this motley crew to scavenge whatever we could from the Republic escape pods that crashed during the recent battle overhead. But the lower city gangs got here first. Anything worthwhile in those Republic pods is probably in their hands by now. Davik won't like that. What are you, an off-worlder? Everyone knows Davik. He's a member of the Exchange. You know, the Interstellar Crime Syndicate. Smuggling, gambling, extortion... Davik controls it all here on Taurus. That's why I'm working for him. But lately, the lower city gangs have been giving my boss some trouble. Come on, boys, let's move out! Ah! 
Ready. Huh?
I'm here. down here. Security papers. Oh, you're one of those trackers the commander sent down, right? They should have given you an armed escort. It's nasty down here. We've already lost one patrol. We figure the rack ghouls got them. We've had so many encounters with those things, we've actually run out of rack ghoul serum. Plus, we've had several skirmishes with looters from those lower city swoop gangs. I'm telling you, we should just stay in the upper city where we're in control. Is that why you're down here? Search and rescue. I didn't think they'd send anyone. They were in the southern section of the Undercity when we lost contact. I would have gone to investigate, but my orders are to search for those crashed escape pods, even if it means leaving another patrol to die. Hey, I'd never disobey my orders. I'm not a fan of court martials and executions. I was just talking, you know. Nothing anyone has to mention to the commander. Come on, patrol, let's get back to it. The sooner we get this search done, the sooner we can get out of this mutant-infested hole. Move out!
Yes, what's on your mind? You got... Yes, what's on your mind? Terrace? From what I hear, the... that's all I can think of at any rate. You got it.